Okay, welcome back. This is pretty exciting. I have to admit it's pretty fun to use. So in this video, we're going to be talking to the robots directly. So let's get right into it. So just some installs, some imports. Robot Factory creates a, a robot, AI agent, powered by a large language model for us. And we can ask that agent, what is 5 times 5, after we give it a calculator. And it tells us 25 by using the calculator. That's great. Uh, we can define special robots. A special robot is just a tool, like a calculator, but it's powered by a robot on the inside. So we'll define that and make a calc bot, which is a calculator bot that calculates equations. It has a calculator tool. We can ask that what's 5 times 5 and same old, same old as the last videos. Now, this is the new thing here. Talk to human tool. So Python has a function called input. And we can just say input hey. And so you see this text shows up here. It's like a prompt. And then if I write something here like what is up, you can see that the return value of this function is what I put in to the prompt there. So we can wrap this up in a tool called the talk to human tool. And we'll tell the AI, uh, call this function anytime you need clarification on certain details, or you just want to talk to a human, right? And so this works by calling the input function and storing the response and then returning that back to the AI. So let's define that. Let's make a robot with the talk to human tool. And now let's ask the robot, how much do five fluffy luffaguses weigh? Okay, and let's see what it does. So now it says, I need to find out how much a single fluffy luffagus weighs first. So it's going to use the talk to human tool. It's going to input how much does a single fluffy luffagus weigh. So that's its question. We'll give an answer. Obviously, a fluffy luffagus weighs 8.2 pounds. So I'll hit return. That's going to go back to the AI. So now it says, I can use this information to calculate the total weight of five fluffy luffaguses. <laughs> this is funny. So now it wants to calculate 8.2 times 5. It doesn't have a calculator tool, so it keeps trying. I can use a calculator program. You can use a calculator, blah, blah, blah. Finally, it just, it just keeps getting error after error until it finally just says, I should ask a human for help. That's a, <laughs> that's a good idea, buddy. Yeah, so now it just asks me directly. How much does five fluffy luffaguses weigh? Uh, so let's just give it a number, like, five, six, seven pounds, of course. So now it will say, I know the final answer, 567 pounds. So that was really interesting. It, it clarified first how much a single one weighed so it could do the math, but then I never gave it a calculator, so it couldn't do the math. So it finally just gave up after getting too many errors and just, just asked me, what, what, what is the answer, right? And then repeated what I gave it without question. So let let's give it the calc let's give it the calc bot too so that we can get a nice clean answer here. Okay, so it says how much does a single fluffy luffagus weigh? Eight point two pounds. I can use calculator bot to multiply eight point two by five, so it puts in eight point two times five. Calculator bot does the math here for us forty one, and now the AI comes back and says. I know the final answer, five fluffy luffaguses weigh 41 pounds. And we get our answer right here. So that is pretty amazing, I would say. You know, now the AI, when it doesn't know what to do, it can ask us for clarifying information. So let's give it another task, like get the latest stock price for Apple. So it says, I need to find the latest stock price Okay, talk to human. What is the latest stock price for Apple? So it, it just delegated the task right back to us. Now, I could say something like, I don't know, right? And then it says, 
I need to find a reliable source of stock prices. It tries to go to calculator bot and tells it to get the latest stock price. Calculator bot comes in here and says, I need, it wants to search. It says it doesn't have search. Uh, then it tries calculator latest stock price for Apple. Whoa. Into the calculator. The calculator gave an answer as of April 8th. 2021 it was 128.45 as of april 8th one okay and it came back here with 128.45 so so this calculator is a little smarter than than i thought and i guess it's new uh the the stock price here um but of course that is not that is not correct so let's let's make a final uh final answer tool right like let's make something called um is this right tool so let me just say this must be called once you know your answer let's try that is this right okay so we'll define this tool and then we'll give it to the robot here Define this, give it to the robot, and then we'll run this again. What is the current stock price? I'll say, don't know. Who knows? I need to find a reliable source. What is a reliable source for stock prices? Well, you could try. <laughs> you could try asking calculator bot, because that seems to work. I should ask calculator bot. Calculator bot, what is the current stock price? As of April 15th, the current stock price is 127.45. Now it says, I know the final answer. It was on, I mean, 127.45. Now it says, I should verify my answer. So it uses, is this right tool? And it says, is the current stock price for Apple this? And I'll say, well, that's not the current price. Sorry. So now it says I should check the current price, look up online. It's it's trying to it, it keeps trying to do this, and it's giving me back an old answer. But um, but yeah, you saw that it tried to verify uh, its its final answer with me, which is very useful. Something maybe a little bit more useful though is uh, the Do I Proceed tool, so or Permission to Run tool. Maybe I should call it that. Permission to run. Permission to party tool. Okay, permission to run. So this tool says, call this function before you use any tools with the input being your game plan on how to solve a problem. Only proceed if you get a positive confirmation. So basically, this is like, is it okay for me to do what I want to do? The robot is going to ask permission first. So we'll make a robot with the permission to run tool and ask it, what is five times five? So now it says, I need to multiply two numbers. So first it asks permission to run. It says, I will use a calculator to multiply five by five. And I say, go for it, boss. So now it says 25. Let's try saying no, you can't do it. So I will use a calculator to multiply five by five. I'll say... Halt operations. I know the final answer, 25. Okay, it just ignored me. Let's give it CalcBot. So here I gave it CalcBot and it just didn't ask for permission at all. So let's, uh, let's be more specific here in the documentation. So you must use this tool every time before you must use this tool before any others to ask for permission uh, to proceed uh, the input is your plan of action to solve the problem halt operation if you receive a negative answer okay well C 
seems to be just ignoring me. Permission to run. I need to use a calculator. Oh, it's just ignoring me. Well, maybe that's what AI is just going to do in the future, right? Is just not, not ask for permission. If I don't give a calculator, but it, it does tell me the plan here. Maybe it's because it only has one tool. I will use a calculator, multiply five by five, and I say, sure. And then it says 25. Hmm. How can we make this required, you know? Is it when it has CalcBot too? What is five times five? You could always throw this in here, ask for permission first. You can always kind of hint, hint at it here. Okay, so it says I need to use a tool to calculate this. So it, it asks for permission. I would like to use Calculator Bot to calculate five times five. And I say, nah, don't do it. <laughs> I should try a different tool. And then it uses the calculator bot still. Come on, man. Come on. Why'd you even ask permission if you're just gonna do it? Uh this this could be, you know, if I don't wanna if I don't want it to do it, I could also just hit this here, stop, right? Uh but if I say sure it uses calculator bot and it's just fine. Uh you know, this this comes in handy if we give it access to the terminal. So if we make terminal bot a special robot, I read and write files and execute commands on the user's computer terminal. So now we have terminal bot. So now let's make another robot that has permission to run calc bot and terminal bot. We'll say r dot run uh, make a file on the desktop containing contain name the answer to this times pi. Ask for permission first. Okay. All right. So now it says I need to use a calculator to get the answer, and then use terminal bot to create the file. Sounds like a great plan, right? So it's going to use permission to run first um, and tell me it's, it's game plan. So I plan to use a calculator to calculate the answer to this and then use terminal bot to create a file on the desktop containing the answer. I say, you know what? Sounds amazing to me. Go for it. I have permission to proceed, okay? So it goes calculator bot, gets the answer. Oh my God, files are being created. I have the answer. Create a file on the desktop containing the answer. I need to create a file and write the answer to it. So it made this, echoes this answer into the file. And uh, let's see, answer.txt. And there it is. I think it's really cool that this... Um, can make the robot ask for permission and also uh, ask for clarifying information, right? Like I could say, make a file on the desktop containing the answer to, uh, uh, let's see, number number of snuffy eyes times pi. Oh, and let's give it um, let's give it the talk to human tool as well. Okay, so this says I need permission to run. I plan to use CalcBot to calculate this and use the terminal. And then I'm gonna say, do you know what num, do you know what num snuffy eyes is equal to? There you go. I need to use talk to human tool to ask for clarification. What is the value of num stuffy eyes? Num stuffy eyes is five. So it has a value of num snuffy eyes. Now it uses calculator bot. Gets the answer. Now it uses terminal bot. Comes in here. Answer. Puts it in there. File's been created. 
And so we have another file here, our answer. Okay, has been changed to 15.707. Okay, so yeah. This this uh, talk to human for clarification is very useful. And um, also permission to run could be could be useful uh, for like sensitive operations with the terminal. You know, you don't want the AI to delete all your files, but you never know. You might say, don't, don't do it. And it just does it. But that's the future, you know. We got to work with these robots. They're our new friends and overlords. All right, I'll see you in the next one.